Let's talk about registration and compensation in embroidery designs. What is it? Why does it happen? How do we fix it? So what exactly are we talking about here? Well, have you ever had a design that looks like this on the left, where we have gaps between areas and big gaps here, and we have parts that are sticking out beyond the outlines, instead of something that's perfectly outlined and perfectly registered like this one on the right. That's what we'll cover in this course. So the problem here is registration. And the solution is proper compensation and proper sewing techniques. It's important to understand that getting a good result is a partnership between both the digitizer and the embroider, whether that's you or somebody else. The focus of this course is on compensation methods when digitizing in Hatch. We'll cover understanding sewing distortions, using pull compensation settings, overlapping adjacent objects, and why there are no universal best values that work for every design, every time, on every fabric. Included with this course are seven lessons with text videos and exercises. You'll learn reasons why designs are not WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get along with what to do about it. You also get two design files for working with compensation. Are you ready to get started?